The overall goal of this procedure is to rapidly screen for different genotypes, mutations, or transgenes in zebrafish. This is accomplished by first extracting DNA from fin clips and then amplifying the DNA by PCR. The next step is to denature the PCR amplicons while recording the melt curves which are analyzed by software. Ultimately, the results show distinguishable melt curves for different genotypes. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like gel electrophoresis following PCR is that it's sensitive to single nucleotide changes, small insertion or deletions. And this technique is fast and reliable. Though this technique may be used to rapidly and effectively genotype zebrafish, it can also be applied to other systems and model organisms, including cell lines, mice, and other animals. On the day of the DNA preparation, add fresh proteinase K to the lysis buffer at a concentration of 1 mg per milliliter. Tissue can be collected from an adult fish using a fin clip or from an embryonic fish. First, anesthetize the fish in tricane solution. Wait until the gill movements slow. Then, put the fish on a stack of tissues and, with a sterile razor blade, cut off a small piece of the tail fin, about 2 to 3 mm long. Quickly place the fish in a labeled tank with fresh water for recovery. Pick up the fin clip with a sterile pipette tip and transfer it into a tube filled with 100 microliters of DNA lysis buffer. Be sure to label both the animal's tank and the tube. Incubate all the collected